Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home. So did I tell you? Huh? Nothing to worry about. I knew you were right all along, Woody. Never doubted you for a second. Wait a minute. Oh, what do we have here? <gasps> Wait! Turn that thing back on! Come in, Mother Bird. Come in, Mother Bird. Mom has pulled a surprise present from the closet. And he's opening it. He's really excited about this one. Mom! It's a huge package. Oh, what? Get out! One of the kids is in the way. I can't see him. It's a... Uh... So what? What is it? Oh no, you big lizard! Now I'll never know what it is. Way to go, Rex! No, no, turn him around! Turn him oh, around! No, he's putting him in back. Yeah, you're putting him in backwards. Plus is positive, minus is negative. Oh, let me! <laughs> Let's go to room, guys! Red alert! Red alert! Andy is coming upstairs! Yeah. There! I'm sure Andy was just a little excited, that's all. Too much cake and ice cream, I suppose. It's just a mistake. Well, that mistake is sitting in your spot, Woody. <laughs> Have you been replaced? Hey, what did I tell you earlier? No one is getting replaced. Now, let's all be polite and give whatever it is up there a nice, big Andy's Room welcome. As you know, Woody is played by Tom Hanks, and Buzz, the spaceman, is played by Tim Allen. Uh, Toy Story has been written, directed, and produced by Pixar in a partnership with the Walt Disney Company. And uh, we can see how it turns out at Thanksgiving. Next, I, uh, we've come a long way in 100 years. I want to talk about scale and complexity. Uh, to highlight a little bit of, of what we've seen here. Uh, the first is, uh, as I mentioned, 79 minutes long, every frame completely computer synthetic. It's 114,000 frames, um, about 1,600 different shots, so it's a very complex movie in terms of the number of shots. 400 plus models. As you know, our process for making this film, we call it computer animated, but it's not really computer animated, it's computer drawn. We make mathematical computer models of everything from the characters to the sets. We have a whole digital back lot, if you will. And those models are then turned over to the animators, and the animators act the characters by manipulating the models. These models are not just external surface appearances. They, we insert musculature and skeletal structures inside the model so that we can move them in natural ways. After the animators animate the characters, they are then, the scenes are then lighted, everything is shaded, and then they are given to a giant rendering farm of computers which draws them. And as you know, a computer these days can draw a lot in a second. These computers draw for several hours, uh, yielding the 3D effect that could really not be done by hand. So the models are incredibly critical. There are uh, well over 10 person years in the modeling of these characters. 160 billion pixels in this film and 600 billion bytes. That's uh, over 1,000 CD-ROMs to hold the data in this film. 
So it is not only an exercise in artistic creativity and in computer science uh, technology, it is also an exercise in managing scale and complexity that we have not seen the likes of in computer graphics very often. 34 terabytes of RenderMan files have been rendered to make this film. We warn you not to try this at home. And 800,000 machine hours to render the film. Uh, by the way, we use uh, Sun's fastest product, SparkStation 20 quad processors, to do this on. So that's a feeling for some of the scale. Let's take a look at some of the complexity. This is Woody, a character throughout the film. Uh, just as an example, Woody has 723 animation control points, all of them available to the animators or actors to, uh, to animate Woody. 212 of them are on the face, uh, 58 of them on the mouth alone. This is Buzz. Buzz has approximately the same number of animation controls, and texture maps uh, has 189 texture maps at the beginning of the film when he's nice and clean. Uh, he gets dirty, dirtier throughout the film, and at his most dirty point, he has 639 different texture maps. This is a scene uh, of a neighborhood. Uh, you can see the motion blur of the car on the right. But I wanted to call your attention in particular to the trees. Uh, each of these trees has approximately 10,000 leaves. On this scene here, there's over one million leaves being rendered. This is a scene uh, with cars in it. We have 36 automobiles in Toy Story, 13 different chassis and power plants arranged with different bodies. And this is a scene from a gas station. As you can see, uh, Woody and Buzz are not getting along too well. Uh, they arrive at a gas station and uh, they meet this truck there after they get uh, lost out of the minivan. This truck has 36 different lights on it, if you count the headlights and the taillights, the running lights. It has 200 feet, 200 feet of tubing on it. It has 346 bolts in it, 18 wheels. It has over 2,000 surfaces and over 20,000 animation controls on it. Now, what I'd like to do now, again, to show you a flavor of the complexity, is I brought along another 90-second clip uh, from this gas station scene. And if we could go ahead and roll that now. Doesn't he realize that I'm not there? No! I'm lost! <laughs> oh, the lost toy! Buzz Lightyear mission log. The local sheriff and I seem to be at a huge refueling station of some sort. You! According to my Nava computer, the... Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! Sheriff, this is no time to panic. This is the perfect time to panic! I'm lost, Andy is gone, they're gonna move from their house in two days and it's all your fault! My... my fault? If you hadn't pushed me out of the window in the first place... Oh, yeah, well, if you hadn't shown up your stupid little cardboard spaceship and taken away everything that was important to me... Don't talk to me about importance, because of you, the security of this entire universe is in jeopardy. What?! What are you talking about? Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, Emperor Zerg has been secretly building a weapon with the destructive capacity to annihilate an entire planet. I alone have information that reveals this weapon's only weakness. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command. You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear, you're a... Now you're an action figure! You are a child's plaything! You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell.
Oh, yeah? Well, good riddance, you loony. As you can see, this is uh, the classic buddy picture with two characters in a don't like each other at all, find themselves in a situation of mutual adversity, and uh, have to learn to work together and respect each other through the rest of the film. I want to talk for a minute about a place in history. The computer graphics community has been climbing the wall of the castle uh, for 20 years, standing on each other's shoulders and made immense progress as we've seen today. And finally, uh, we have now scaled the castle wall and we're in the castle now with Toy Story. And I think that that is an achievement that many people in this room uh, should take proud um, ownership in. And we should take a few minutes today on the 100th anniversary of the invention of the motion picture to contemplate the contributions that we're making. We have now pioneered, I think, really the next major offshoot of the motion picture. It's going to be a medium in its own right. It's going to have unique talents in itself that we will find boundaries for as we explore it over the next many years. And this is an achievement that I, I hope everybody this year and possibly today takes a few minutes to just contemplate and feel pride in. There will be a, cent a second centenary of the invention of the motion picture 100 years from now. None of us will be here at that event, but hopefully there will be a lot of people here talking about how it's been 200 years since the invention of the motion picture. I think they will also be talking about how it has been 100 years at that time since the first computer animated synthetic feature film premiered. And I would like to suggest that we all have a lot to be proud of as a community and we feel very honored uh, to be producing this picture representing the works of all of us over the last 20 years. Thank you very much. I'd like to congratulate Kurt and Jose for your awards. Thank you for your thoughtful words, and Steve as well for your, for your presentation. Thanks a lot for coming, everybody.